these practices that we're witnessing are actually secret. <laughs> My name is Giuseppe, and I have a mission to travel the world, to meet the most extraordinary people on the planet, and to ask them a simple question. What does happiness mean to you? Welcome to Project Happiness. In the 8th century, or perhaps even earlier, at a point in history where myth and memory begin to blur, Japan began to worship the mountains as sacred places where the gods reside. It soon became a religion called Shudgendo, combining religious practices from Buddhism, Shintoism, and Taoism with esoteric magic. The Yamabushi, or Shugendo monks, would seclude themselves in ancient cedar forests to undergo grueling physical mental training to obtain supernatural powers. Today, after more than a thousand years, this religion is disappearing, and there are very few believers left in Japan. It is believed that the ancient wisdom and the Shugendo hold all the answers that man has always sought, but they can only be understood by the monks. It is for this reason that it cannot be learned from sacred texts or just by talking. This religion must be experienced, and that's what I'm here for. The monks told me to meet them here, under the door that leads into the sacred forest. They should be hard to spot. They'll be dressed in white and they'll come from there. We are coming back after a mountain training. We practice Shugendo. Shugendo means the worship of mountains and of all things existing in nature. Respecting and worshipping deities, trees or rocks. It is a training through which one can continually renew the spirit. If you would like, would you like to practice it together? Well, then let's try it together. Thank you very much. The color of the kimonos is not random. In Japan, white is used to dress the dead. They are literally preparing for my funeral. We are about to embark on symbolic pilgrimage to the afterlife. Because to be reborn, one must first die. Training in the sacred mountains is important for the Yalabushi, because they train their souls to die symbolically. But they actually believe it concretely. It becomes essential for them that before they die, they accept their current situation, their place in the world, and themselves at every stage of the journey. These Komenu statues are usually found at the entrance to Buddhist temples or Shinto shrine. Usually there are two, one with his mouth open, as of saying a, ah, one with a closed mouth saying mm, a, ah, mm, or the beginning and the end. Everything, the universe, every living thing, everything has a beginning and an end. This principle includes everything within the worship of nature. These majestic Japanese cedars are called suji, a name derived from the expression perfectly straight tree. They can live past 1,000 years, and in addition to being sacred, they are considered witnesses of entire historical eras. It's curious seeing them becoming one with nature and observing how these mountains' aesthetics meditate in the midst of this forest. They're ordinary people. They are called Hansei Hanzuku, meaning half sacred, half secular. They all come from different backgrounds. They are entrepreneurs, employees, students. They're all looking for the same thing, to reconnect with nature, to rediscover their true selves. 
Yanabushi training focuses on acceptance. Living in the present and not worrying about an uncertain future or of a past that cannot be changed. Their sacred text is nature, whose processes and behaviors show them the way. In Shugendo, nature is said to correspond to the place where the Buddha resides and the life of all things. So considering all life forms as gods, I treat everyone around me according to the principles of Shugendo. When I got in touch with nature, I thought, am I living or am I keeping myself alive? The same goes for oxygen that keeps us alive. We cannot survive without food, also without animals, plants, and especially oxygen. Since nature is full of these things, even as I walk, I feel that gratitude that makes me think, ah, this land allows me to walk. I was able to feel connected with nature. For this adventure, I decided to open an account with EasyBank, Intenza San Paolo's new digital bank. Especially when I travel, it's the perfect solution to simplify my financial life. Essential services and intuitive technology in one app. When you open an EasyBank account with Intenza San Paolo, you have a digital card that can be activated right away to shop quickly and easily. And it's connectable to all major digital wallets. You can also get a physical card of recycled plastic, so you're making a difference. No worries while abroad, until January 10, 2024, there are no bank currency conversion fees for your foreign payments and withdrawals. Thus, if you choose the Easy Prime card, with a physical debit card, withdrawals abroad are always free. Bank wires are instant with no fees, and the debit card is customizable with images found on the app. Link in description to find out all the benefits of Easy Bank. Finally, you can open an account that does things the easy way. I am invited to their temple where their guide, Koro Sensei, awaits us to worship together. The Tikiyo ceremony is about to begin, in which we'll have to stay under a small waterfall of spring water from their sacred mountain to train the body, mind, spirit to withstand the physical hardships of life. It is a kind of metaphor for them, enduring even when the mind says flee. So now it should be my turn. You put the fabric in the back, roll it up, and tie it in the front. Okay, okay. It is clear how I have to put on this cloth. The only problem is, someone else put it on before me. Let's do this, though. These folk came here to train to temper the the body, mind, spirit, and it's interesting how they do it. They try to put themselves in the most d discomfort 
The court has paid to be scripted here. English. However, getting out of their daily comfort zone. At home they have hot water, they have food, they do long periods of fasting. They bathe in cold water. They try to temper themselves. And I can really appreciate it. But the cold gets to you. Like all the Yamabushi here, and I got to write a wish which will then be burned in the Goma fire. I hope Buddha also understands Italian. Thank you. The Goma ceremony is about to begin, the fire ceremony. For them, fire is as purifying as water. Right now, the sensei is preparing the ceremony in which body, mind and spirit will be purified. It is the same as the Buddhist Goma ceremony. The only difference is that they add the drum to create a kind of uh, spiritual trance. Buddha should arrive right here, thanks to the flame. One of their rules is to not put your hand beyond this rope. They told me the flame will be 2,000 meters high. We will see it almost touch the ceiling. The flame will be 2,000 meters high, so it will reach Buddha. It's impossible for me to understand every step of this practice. But it's powerful to be able to see it live. Because every moment is has a strong emotional zeal. All these practices that we are witnessing are actually secret. This mug decided to show us because he believes it's time for the whole world to see what Shugendo is before it totally disappears. Sensei just threw some rice on this brazier and some rice on us. It is an offering that is made to Buddha to prepare the ground upon which he will descend. The ceremony has really begun. The sensei has lit the fire, the drums are beating, and all the worshippers seem to be in a trance. The further we go with the ceremony, the louder it will be, almost frightening. Sensei looks increasingly angry. And this is the evolution that he's now shouting prayers to be heard by Buddha. Thank you very much. It's finished. Just finished recording. Didn't save. That is, it immediately said, unable to view. Random. How much had you shot? First 20 minutes, that is, the whole ritual. In the first 20 minutes, it's gone. These ceremonies give off so much energy. The electric objects often mysteriously stop working. Uh, my phone was broken five times before. Here. Yeah, here, here. I can't take picture. Yeah. Um, I can, I cannot take videos in in inside this 
Well, but why? Mm. Why? Why? Well, I, I don't know. Myst mystery. <laughs> Energy. Energy, maybe. Since they said he has faith that it will work. Electronics often don't work here because the spiritual energy is too strong. Let's see. I don't really believe in these things, but if these files are recovered, maybe I need to start believing in a little bit. Embarrassed, we asked the sensei to repeat the ceremony, but he, serene and unflappable, comforts us by assuring us that once we return home, away from these energy sources, the files will definitely restore and we will see them. And that is exactly what happened. What's your relationship with nature? We Yamabushi go to the mountains because we believe the mountains is the founder and the scripture. It's not that there are scriptures or gurus on the mountains, but when you go to the mountains and enter a pure state, many things are revealed to you. This is called revelation, and with it also comes inspiration. We call this awareness and learning. In other words, heaven is telling me how I should live and how I should be. It is the attitude of receiving guidance from heaven, from deities, from Buddha or ancestors, while training through ascetic practices. I think young people should have more respect for nature and be more humble towards it. Instead of feeling that we are conquering nature, we should feel the need to thank nature. What's the sense of happiness for Shugendo? As we practice asceticism and get closer to the deities and the Buddha, we want to make many people feel happy. Happiness is the process of making people around you happy. And when you see someone smile, you feel happy. It is a situation where people who make others happy are consequently happy. This question is short, but a bit tricky. Who is, or what is, or where is God? God is in space. The universe itself corresponds to all deities. Deities are entities you can communicate with when you elevate your heart. At the same time, the deities are in your heart. Therefore, through training, the deities within you will come into the open. They exist in the universe and within you, and they will appear through practice. The deities are within you. In the silence of the mountains, and through the rigorous training led by Sensei, Yamabushi are able to perceive divine presence through reconnecting with nature. For them, God is not merely a distant point in the sky, but a bright reflection shining in the inner core of each soul. They deeply believe that every atom, every thought, every breath is a piece of this divine universe that dwells within each of us. Their happiness lies in contemplating the beauty of nature and within the beat of one's own heart. Only in this way can they get closer to God. In fact, their spiritual practice becomes an inner journey to discover the sacredness within everything recognizing that God is not separate from humans, but that with practice, it is possible to God within ourselves and to recognize God in everything that makes up the universe around us.